My name is Linda, and this is my husband, Greg, and we have been married for almost 24 years. Uh, when we married, uh, I had two sons, Brian, who was 12, and James, who was 7 at the time. We want to share with you the hope and the strength that we received um, when we experienced uh, the tragedy of losing our son, James, to suicide. James, like so many of us, uh, experienced several traumatic events growing up both physical and emotional. When he was 11, he had a trampoline accident which badly damaged his mouth and his teeth. And he suffered with that and the consequences several years. Uh, when he was 15, his father, to whom he was very close, passed away. His teenage years were emotional and mental roller coaster until a day came when he was 19 when he had an emotional meltdown. He basically shut down. He would not respond to questions. He would not get out of bed. And we finally convinced him to go to a doctor where he was diagnosed with schizophrenia. After several medications and a period of time, he finally got a med that worked and he began really doing well. He got a job and was working hard. But like so many of us, after a year, he thought, I'm healed. And he quit taking his medicine. And again, the up and downs came until he finally realized he needed to go back to the doctor. And he did, and he got back on some meds, but he never got to the same level before. He never got to doing well. And that led finally to the day of October 15, 2003, when he decided that the only way he could stop his pain and his trauma was to take his own life. There was so much heartache and grief and pain and shock. Um, it felt like a part of my heart was ripped out. In Psalms 46 1, it says that God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. And just that refuge of who He was as that shelter, that uh, protection, that provision of uh, being held and comforted. Uh, because that's what he he was to us and continues uh, to be. And because of God's strength, we were able to uh, get through the days and the weeks and the months ahead. Second Corinthians twelve nine says that His grace is sufficient, and His grace is um, His grace is that covering that covers you and gets you through things when you can't explain even how you got through it or get through it. But it's that um, covering that you can experience over and over and over again. God is the God of all comfort, and He can comfort us like no one else can. Second Corinthians 1, 3-4 says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble that we ourselves receive from God. Um, and God has comforted us and continues to do so, and He also put so many people, our family, our friends, our church family, uh, to come along beside us, to, to walk with us uh, and beside us um, through this. Uh, and we found out that we were and are deeply loved. The Lord began to stir on my heart uh, to maybe start a support group where we could come together and encourage one another. Um, so in February of 2006, we started a Survivors of Suicide support group in our home. Um, it's a place where people can come and share. Uh, it's very informal, but it's a place where we can share our hurts, our concerns. Uh, it's a journey that we're we take together to share in our grief, to come to a new normal, and um, to encourage one another, and to even uh, share in laughter, and to experience in joy. There's a song by Mercy Me called The Hurt and the Healer, and the words that they use so um, help in just, I guess, an explanation of what you go through uh, in the loss of a someone who commits suicide, whether it be that or just a loss of a loved one, period, or a trauma or struggles that you're going through. Um, and it says, I'm alive 
even though a part of me has died. You take this heart and you breathe it back to life. Pain so deep that I can hardly move. Lord, take hold and pull me through. When the hurt and the healer collide. And that's what the Lord has done for us, that he's breathed life back into us. Um, the loss will always be there, but so will the healer. And in Psalm 62, 5 through 8, it says, Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I will not be shaken. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge.